Okay, so this one um, is missing a line of text um, after the title before the post, or sorry, not title, header, and before the post. So I'm just going to record this really quick to show you. Um, I'm going to copy the text and then come over here. So I'm already in this section, um, which remember is all within a group. So you can see when I click here, it's kind of highlighting the group. So I'm going to expand the group. And then the image is the first thing. So it looks like this first uh, row, so to speak, is within this group that's like nested within the larger one. Although now I just forgot if this is going on the first or the second. It's going after the how to make my own from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to expand this group down now. And then I'm going to uh, click on this header, the how to make brownies from scratch, and then um, you can add, so we're going to want to add paragraph text to add um, what needs to go here. You can do it one of two ways. I prefer to click on the three dots here and then say add after, and it's going to always automatically do, like a paragraph is the first choice that's always going to come up. But the other way you can do it is if you kind of hover in here, where you want it, you'll see this plus come up and you can do it like that and select paragraph. So this would also be the same way if we were adding anything, not just a paragraph. So for example, if I'm gonna go over here and click add after and I can either um, start typing what block I want, like if I wanted a separator, um, heading, image, etc., or without typing the slash, you can come over here to this plus, whoops, that was a right click that wasn't correct <laughs> click the plus and these will come up and you can also hit browse all which will show you all the different things um, that you can add um, which oh these are the um, sync patterns that it is we've been creating so I just figured I'd show that here on this one since I don't know how much I've said that before oh shoot that's not what I meant to do um that basically you can do it either of those ways like I said I like to click on one and then come here to use either add before or add after but I just in general really like using the left hand side um when I I don't know when I click in here things go awry for me <laughs> so um all right so since I have that there I'm just going to come in here and I do actually want it to be a paragraph so I'm just going to paste the text and then can't remember if these are supposed to be centered. Let's just check another page real quick. Hmm. I done that. It is supposed to be centered. So to center it, so now that I have it in there, I'm just going to click on the text and then come right here to the align text center, which I feel like might be over here somewhere too. maybe not that's how I do it is from that right there um, so yeah that's how you add something when it's missing those two ways either the three dots here and click add before or add after or if you kind of just hover in between sections that little plus and line will pop up um, but remember that will get you have to be careful of that when it's like so here I'm obviously within this green section, which is going to keep me within this group. But let's say I wanted something here. You'd have to be careful. Like, I'm going to click it to see what it does. Okay, so there it put it in between the two, which is what you theoretically did want. But um, you, you basically just, in, if, you're, if you're using the click on the page method, make sure you're checking that if it needs to be going within a group that it is going within one. Um, this one obviously did here, so. Okay, that's it, bye.